Yo, have you heard of LinkedIn Learning? If you haven't, LinkedIn Learning is an American massive open online course provider. It provides video courses taught by industry experts in a variety of subjects. Now, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because Living Corporate is in partnership with LinkedIn Learning to provide diversity, equity, and inclusion courses. Listen, if you're trying to be a better ally, you want to understand better diversity, equity, inclusion strategies, or you just want to learn how to be a better leader, you got to check out the courses on LinkedIn Learning. So check it out. You can do it one of two ways. You can click the link in the show notes or you go to LinkedIn Learning and you search Living Corporate. Again, link in the show notes or go to LinkedIn Learning and search Living Corporate. I'll see you over there. What's going on, Living Corporate? It's Tristan, and I want to thank you for tapping back in with me as I provide some tips and advice for professionals. Today, I want to discuss why you may not be getting interviews even though you know you're qualified for the role. Have you ever been in a position where you know you have the experience for the role, spend time tailoring your resume and cover letter, and submit your application only to receive the standard rejection email from the company? Has that happened to you time and time again? Do you feel defeated, like you should give up or you have no real options? Well, there are a few things you may be doing that could be blocking your blessing of getting an interview. The first thing is underselling yourself. Many job seekers have a hard time talking about themselves and often will discount their skills or achievements. This is common because most of us grew up being told that talking about ourselves comes off as bragging and no one likes a bragger. But believe me, if there was anywhere you should be bragging, it's your resume. Otherwise, recruiters or hiring managers may assume you don't have the experience, even though you do. You have to shift your perspective and understand that sharing your skill set or accomplishments, even if you've only done it a few times or worked on a team to accomplish it, will paint the picture that you're qualified for the role you're seeking. The second thing is that you may be using jargon in your resume. Almost every company, organization, or industry has its own language and way of speaking. After being in a certain position or with the same company for enough time, we don't even see that we're speaking this language to others who may not understand it. If there are acronyms, phrases, results, or accomplishments that would be difficult for anyone outside your company to understand, it's your job to translate that and showcase how it aligns with the job you want. The last thing is that you have no strategy other than applying online. If you find yourself in a never-ending loop of tailoring your resume, applying, and being rejected, you have to reassess your strategy. With the average job posting getting anywhere from 150 to 250 applicants, it's easy to fade in the background and it's on you to find a way to stand out. I always suggest networking with people at the companies you want to work for to build authentic relationships and potentially land a referral. This can give you a leg up on the competition and make you more likely to snag that interview. This tip was adapted from an article in Forbes titled Why You're Not Getting Interviews When You're Qualified by Adunola Adeshala and was brought to you by Tristan of Layfield Resume Consulting. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Layfield Resume or connect with me, Tristan Layfield, on LinkedIn.